my point is that right now it is quite difficult in any country, whether it is uh, United States, whether it is uh, these are European countries, it is difficult to explain to citizens what is the importance value of decisions that are made by authorities and what is the connection between the citizens and the and the public power. So what happened in Poland was like the creation on different levels of the system of government that was to great extent uh, controlled by those who are having the majority in the in the in the parliament. Um, and it is interesting because th this creation did not ha happen overnight. Fortunately, there is like one thing that helps us a lot, which is kind of an anchor of those changes, which is the case law of the Court of Justice of the EU and the case law of the European Court of Human Rights, as well as number of you know, recommendations, statements, positions by the European uh, Commission. So, so it is for us like the point of uh, point of departure and an anchor in our process of changes. Uh, so, so we know that sooner or later we must abide by all the EU rules and all the rules stemming from the European Convention on Human Rights. Mm -hmm. so, so for us it is not just a question of supporting Ukrainian people, but also supporting the current uh, European project which is based on, uh, on democracy, rule of law, human rights and, uh, and also the sovereign independence of all the member states of the of the European Union so it is it is the war about not recreating some kind of a new uh, iron curtain but it would not happen without involvement of the Polish civil society human rights defenders members of academia and bar and bar associations so I would like to put emphasis on to what extent uh, EU supports proper development of the civil society uh, human rights defenders in academia that are becoming protectors of the rule of law and democracy in uh, all the uh, EU member states.